<sighs> Glasgow, what have you been up to this time? We will all find out about this in Wall of Fail XXL Skating on Thin Ice. In Glasgow, there's a park called Queen's Park, and most of the time throughout the year, it's just known as a place to get fresh air, walk the kids, walk the dog, you name it. Uh, but during the winter time, when the ice freezes the pond, people take to uh, the, the pond and skate across it like a surrogate ice skating rink. Nobody actually has any particular knowledge about how deep the ice goes down or how load bearing it is. Very, very few people indeed would actually have any remote molly com of idea about it. Glasgow City Council say they do not uh, condone such behaviour and they've said this over and over and over and over and this year inclusive. Uh, interestingly enough, this year a pro ice skater had uh, taken to uh, the makeshift ice rink and of course, you know, we live in this maddening monkey see, monkey do world and within minutes people are joining the rink and then uh, within a wee bit of time longer there's well over 60 people and nobody ever stops and think about the, the total load right across the ice, how deep the ice is etc and uh, if anything happens people would be falling into the cold cold ice water underneath and they'd all have to be uh, taken to uh, an A&E unit and possibly to intensive care. It is a complete disrespect to the NHS. This is the point where I want to say I think it's completely hypocritical for them people uh, attending this kind of illegal ice rink to be having shit all over Facebook like we love the NHS and similar sentiments on uh, on their windows or cars or etc maybe on their bags as well that uh, if they love the NHS that much they wouldn't be doing that because if anything goes wrong as I said it would be uh, resulting in a trip to hospital uh, occupying a bed and maybe even occupying an ICU bed uh, basically shunting someone out of the way that actually clinically needs an ICU bed I think it's terrible I know people want to go and get exercise they want to feel good they want to this they want to that but this is a bloody lockdown uh, and when I passed by uh, the park on the 57 come home from work surprise surprise guess what no social distancing no mask no nothing this is a super spreader uh, convention I would call it it's ridiculous and all levels of risk has flew straight out the window no thought of what you were told as a child may I remind you all oh, uh, we've all been kids at one point and we look at the ice you know like ice form in other parks pointing at to mum mum can I go over there can I go over there and she turns around and says no you're not it's too unsafe and that is the end of the discussion but these people that are joining Queen's Park and maybe other parks uh, up and down the, the country to, uh, to join on these impromptu ice rinks they're completely defying what mother had told them years ago and then if anything does go wrong th you know they're like, oh, help me, help me, or I'm going to see the second council. <laughs> right, you know, we are living in the days of COVID now, and uh, to be honest, every intensive care bed is like gold dust. And you've got these people willing to jump on the ice, willing to uh, put their safety into question. There's a good old chance they'll go crashing through the ice, Someone will phone the ambulance, by the time the ambulance turns up, the person has to go straight to ICU. So that takes out a bed 
for somebody who is uh, genuinely what you call clinically unwell rather than uh, um, unwell through their own irresponsible actions. I, I think it's absolutely ridiculous. In fact, uh, in other countries, when when it comes round for them, somebody joins one of these illegal ice skating rinks, crashes through the ice, gets pulled out, only to be told we're not actually uh, going to be providing medical care. That's the way they do it in other countries. We're so lucky that we even get a look at uh, o over here, to be honest. And uh, the only general way I can talk about this kind of behaviour is idiocy. Total idiocy. People have actually died from going through the ice and the, the temperature difference between the blood temperature and the ice temperature, you know, ice water temperature been so much, it's been too much on the body and it's caused people to have cardiac arrests and never uh, come back from it. So my sensible advice here for anybody listening who is tempted to do such a thing, don't. And also, uh, sort of, bit of advice, if, if people have the idiocy to go onto this or any other makeshift ice rink and try and share their images of oh, their fun time on the rink on social media platforms, I'm going to, de I'm going to delete you. But I, uh, I am fully understanding of the uh, world of monkey see, monkey do. That's, that's a maddening generation we were actually uh, going through. Like if one person is seen on the pond ice skating, etc., within five minutes, there's going to be another. And then by the hour, there's going to be a hundred. Don't go near that bloody ice rink. You don't know how old uh, bearing the think is going to be just because all the Joneses are on uh, Queen's Park makeshift uh, ice skating rink doesn't make you need to do it. Plus remember the council has not condoned this behaviour that they're talking very very highly against it. So please use your common sense, your sanity or whatever's left of it. We've got an ICU capacity that has never been seen before and this is due to a real clinical issue to send people to ICU because they've crashed through an ice skating rink and propped to an ice skating rink uh, in a park is not on you're actually out doing somebody for some uh, professional medical intervention these beds are like gold dust and it is a complete disrespect to the NHS people uh, turning up and get, uh, getting put in into an ICU or because they've caused a self-inflicted scenario. That is not a clinical issue, that is just a self, uh, a self induced scenario. Uh, it's not on. Uh, I mean, uh, as I said in the start of the video, there's a lot of people there that are like, oh, we love the NHS, we love the NHS, clap for the NHS. Uh, by uh, jumping on that pond and whizzing round it as fast as humanly possible, you're basically changing your goalposts and saying, fuck the NHS, get it up the NHS, oh it can fucking rot. No. You need to come off the rink, take your skating boots off and fling them in a bin. I mean, like, I do know the, that professional skater that that did her wee dance on the ice. Yes, it looked mesmerising, however, she somewhat forgets there's actually uh, regulatory bodies for ice skating and uh, they have mentioned uh, taking to uh, skate on ponds that are frozen over and uh, contradicts their terms of policy and uh, people who are reported to uh, this authority can actually lose their ice skating license altogether. So basic summary is if you're a professional ice skater keep away from the ponds. It seems it's not just people that are dying through this COVID-19 it's brain cells. 
it needs bloody stopped. And besides, that lady who did a wee dancing and a pirouette and shit, she ended up getting uh, spoken to by Police Scotland and to be honest, I wouldn't be surprised if she even had to go down to the police station to answer a few questions. If I was uh, one of the two cops, I'd just put the cuffs on right away. Dra drag her right away. I don't know what the fuck are you all about. Stay safe. Stay away from your local uh, ponds and whatever. Uh, stay warm. Stay your two metre social distance. Then people in the Queen's Park Pond didn't give one fuck for that. Try and work at home and hopefully, uh, this is a wee plug for myself, uh, if you're still wanting a wee warm laugh, jump onto my YouTube a channel and you'll see some relatively alright shit then. Uh, anywho, right, people, um, there's so much failure in this topic, I, I'm just kind of, I'm struggling to say much more. Anywho, bye.